Okay, so using a LUT to help color grade your footage is a very useful skill for a filmmaker to have these days. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can apply a LUT using Adobe Premiere Pro. The first thing you'll want to do after loading up your project is to drag the clip you're wanting to apply the LUT to over into your timeline. I like to apply my LUTs using an adjustment layer. That way I can quickly add a LUT to several different clips at once. It won't affect the original clip, and if I decide that it's not working and I later want to delete it, I can change it up more easily. First, let's create our adjustment layer. Over here below your project bin, click this little guy right here to create a new adjustment layer. And pull that new adjustment layer from your project bin over here to your timeline and above the clip that you're wanting to adjust. Now we'll head over to our effects folder and find the Lumetri effect and drag that over to our adjustment layer on the timeline. Now this is going to add the Lumetri color effects panel to our adjustment layer, and it will affect any clip that's directly below it. Now there are two different ways that we can proceed here. If you're looking to add a log normalization LUT, go up here to the basic correction tab, and then to input, and then to input LUT and browse for the LUT that you're wanting to use. Now we can choose the basic correction LUT to get our footage to a nice balanced color. Now on the other hand, if you're looking to add a creative LUT to your already balanced standard footage and you're wanting to give it more of a creative look, go down to the Creative tab and browse to find the LUT that you're wanting to use that's stored in your system. Once a LUT is applied in either of these areas, you can come below the tab and adjust the look and intensity of the LUT until it looks the way you want. And here are a couple of little bonus tips for you. If you're looking to install these LUTs on your system so that Adobe Premiere can just go ahead and populate them for you in the pull-down list, on Mac, you're going to want to open a new search window, go to Library, then Application Support, then Adobe, then Common, and then to the LUT folder. Find the Creative folder there and open it. If it doesn't exist, you can go ahead and create it. Copy your LUT files to this folder. You'll need to copy each individual file and not a folder. Once you restart Premiere Pro, the LUT should be available in the pop-up list in the Creative tab of the Lumetri interface. And if you're installing LUTs on your Windows program, you'll need to move files from LUT to the Premiere Pro folder. By default, it's in Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro CC, whichever version you're using, Lumetri, LUTs, and then Creative. Just move your LUTs files into that creative folder, then restart Premiere Pro, and you should be good to go. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions about anything regarding using LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro, please be sure to post in the comments below, and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. If you're looking for some awesome LUTs to use for your next film or video project, I have some great looks for sale in my digital store. And I just launched my newest pack, Ultimate Hollywood LUTs, which gives you 150 different looks based on some of Hollywood's most well-known films and television series. I would really appreciate it if you would go check it out. As always, thank you guys so much for your continued support, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.